Bless and love, my lords. Welcome to the first ever SIG Talk powered by Red Lion. Uh, what a pleasure to have joining us here today, our CEO, of course, Barcella, and the punk superstar artist, Fuck Render. Hello, gentlemen. Welcome. How are you? What's up? I'm good. Hey, guys. How's it going? Great, great. Very, very happy to to have you guys here on this uh, first SIG talk, and uh, I'm excited to um, to talk SIG. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, it's been uh, it's been you know something that I've been, I guess, pretty pretty focused on since uh, I took over as the CEO of SIG. Which, again, I've said on a couple um, uh, like podcasts and spaces and so on so far. Um, that I didn't really realize there was this active community behind the token still. And it was my own ignorance just kind of saying, you know what, I'm going to take this over from a really good guy, uh, God Save the Goat, who's on here, who who has mm-hmm. gone on all of my uh, sort of spaces so far. So he's, he's a dedicated employee, this guy. Um, but uh, he was the ex-CEO. No, and like seriously, he uh, he was the ex CEO, and uh, he was doing a great job. And in hindsight, I probably shouldn't have even taken this over because I'm the CEO of another company that I have to go to every day. But like, I'm finding time, I think, to try and sort of realistically do my best to, um, you know, sort of take Sig, uh, in my opinion, to like a level of awareness again that it had, I guess, when it was first dropped, and. Um, yeah, I mean, just, like just to, to sort of really quickly go over what SIG is, maybe for anybody out there who uh, doesn't know um, or needs a refresher. So um, in December 2021, OX Tycoon, who's a pretty OG punk um, and an active member of, of, of this overall space, who's a genius with respect to auditing and knowledge of contracts and so on. So he does a lot of... He's a beanie and, zombie. He's a beanie zombie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. He, he is. <laughs> <laughs> Beanie Zombie, um, yeah. a super nice guy. Um, he built Sig, and uh, I, you know, he he had some some clear priorities. I guess he wanted to turn it into this competitive game of the CEO situation and so on. Um, and then I imagine he wanted to, to to actually add some some value to the token. Um, and make it, you know, something worthwhile for punks to invest in, because as we all know, punks don't have a specific token. Um, obviously, ApeCoin is, is you know, the token of Yuga, um, and punks fall under um, that, that broad umbrella. That is, uh, you know, I understand that punks are a little different than that and probably don't see ApeCoin token so anyways um yeah man it's been a lot of fun uh the 100k tokens are dropped to all uh people who uh have punks even to this point so only 37 percent of um of uh punks have actually claimed their sig and um i think it's partly because you can't use a delegate wallet at this point and that's a problem because people don't feel comfortable hooking up their you know vaults or whatever uh to the site although uh OX Tycoon is very confident, um, and you know, uh, in 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 his contract and so on. Uh, you know, people just don't feel comfortable doing that. So, um, all punks uh, have a hundred thousand sig that you know are claimable. I claim mine. I dump mine back in the day because that's how I dealt with all tokens that I got. I'm being you know transparent right now. Um, I obviously bought back in as the CEO and so on. Um, and yeah, it's been a lot of fun. There's a great uh, community there, uh, Fred. Fuck rendered. Uh, yeah. Do you have any sig? Did you claim your sig? Because I know, uh, obviously, back in twenty one, I imagine yeah. that, that like you had a couple punks or something. Yeah, yeah. I think I, I I had two punks back in these days, and yeah, I claim my sigs. I think I still have them. Yeah, yeah. I think you told me that. So, so I mean, <laughs> hodling right here. You know, fuck renders holding on to his sig. I'm sure a lot of people have done that. Just kind of put them in their their wallets and forgotten about it. Um, and yeah, so, you know, there's, um, I, I do have some exciting news to announce on the SIG front. I thought it'd be a good forum to do that real quick. And then I, I you know, do want to talk about, uh, fuck render and what he's up to. Cause I think it's, you know, it's a very special, uh, moment to have, you know, him have his time to allocate to this sort of thing. So, uh, to be able to get into, uh, some of his projects too, is, you know, super exciting, but, uh, on the SIG front, um, the, the forever punks marketplace. Uh, so I actually had a call, uh, like a video call, 
um, with uh, the founder of Forever Punks, who's, you know, I, I saw him come out of nowhere with like no followers. And now he has like as many followers as I do, which isn't that many. I mean, Fred here's got like 200,000, but um, I, you know, he, he's, he sort of come out of nowhere and built this marketplace and it's ever evolving. It's super, he's super really friendly. nice. I met him in real life. He's really nice. <laughs> yeah. He's, he, he, he seems like a really intelligent guy. He's got a, like a, you know, some great ambition. I, I, I really like his marketplace. I think it's user friendly. I think it's next level compared to anything else, uh, else out there specifically specifically for punks. So him and I have been chatting. And um, so we are doing a collaboration between SIG and the Forever Punks Marketplace. So the Forever Punks Marketplace is going live on April 19th. And the the first 50 people to sell and buy, so each you know transaction, of course, has two parties. The first 50 transactions, each of those individuals are going to be allocated a pretty cool prize lot and it's going to scale down so obviously the first buyer is going to get the most enticing chunk of this and that is the first buyer on the forever punks website is going to be allocated 10 forever punks passes and just to kind of uh, you know recollect i'm pretty sure um that's sold out and the founder of forever punks has set aside this chunk for this sort of uh you know his first 50 sales and so we're on a um a uh, collab with that now um let's explain those, uh, for the audience what uh, what those passes do if you, yeah if so you those passes mind. are like essentially it gives you a voting right to so there's only a thousand passes in total so each of those gives you one voting right to help uh create and curb and evolve the forever punks marketplace so you get a say as to what the you know how the, how that's like uh hey barcella evolves. let me let me stop you a little bit there you're breaking up um okay maybe uh, if you want to reconnect maybe that fixes things sometimes yeah no problem here man one sec can you hear me now is that better yeah, now we can hear you, but okay. it's 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 ringling somehow or a little oh, bit. Okay, hold on one second here. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. Yeah, it happens sometimes. Um, but uh, hey, uh, fuck render. Uh, why until he reconnects? Why don't you go ahead and uh, tell us uh, your punk story? How did you get your punks? Uh, yeah, I think I got my punk in 2020. And I remember when the floor was like 7 ETH and I was talking to my friends. And I was like, should I buy this shit? And everyone was like, <laughs> everyone was like no, it, this is not worth it. This is not worth it. And I was like, okay, okay. And um, <clears throat> I ended up buying like a vampire uh, air cut uh, for, I think I paid 29 ETH. And oh, nice. I bought it after like my third or fourth sale of one-on-one -on -one, literally uh it's like the first thing I, I think it's like the first big purchase i've ever done was like that part. nice nice and, i like it yeah and about a year after that i bought a hoodie punk oh nice nice very cool but, yeah. Uh, yeah there is something i've always <laughs> wanted to ask you man um so about a year ago or so, you posted a tattoo you made <laughs> <laughs> about the uh, this selfie from uh, who, whose artist was it? Was it from Rari Pepe or I can't no, remember? It was uh, Pepe Casso. It was like Pepe Casso. Yes. Yeah. 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 And, um, oh yeah. my god, man! That is that was fucking hilarious. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Tell us the story a little bit behind that. Uh, yeah. Honestly, like I, it was like pure bull market bullshit like i yeah i bought i bought that nft like I, I remember like there was like this 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 uh frog penis dao or something and we're like there was other people that bought like that there was like six like pepe penis that you could buy and i bought one of them for 10 eat and i wasn't the only one who paid 10 eat by the way so we really thought it would go somewhere um which is fucking stupid um but yeah like i made so much fun and like honestly like it's still, <clears throat> sorry, it's still like my favorite NFTs. It's like, it's so fucking stupid. For um, me, it's iconic, man. For me, it's fucking yeah. iconic. It's yeah, it's, and, a, it's a masterpiece. Yeah, and honestly, I've used it in many different collections. Like, if you have like fuck avatars, like you have like the creep shades where like you see the reflection in the glass that it's like just the Pepe like jerking off, which is, I think it's funny, but yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm 30 uh, years old, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're all kids. I remember hair. when I, 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 I will try to find uh, these tweets and post them up, uh, pin them up because I thought they were <laughs> hilarious. I think it was something like I just told my accountant I bought thirty thousand dollars worth of art and it was like a dick pic of a frog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, she was so and then so the mad. tattoo of it. <laughs> Yeah, she was, honestly, she was so mad when, when, when I bought that, and she was like, I don't understand. Like, And she was like, if we ever get audited, what do you think they're going to say? I'm like, oh. <laughs> you're going to have to show the dick pic. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll show the tattoo, I don't care. <laughs> show the uh, Oh my god. dick pic. Oh man. Yeah. Can you guys hear me better now? Anyway... Uh, yeah, I, uh, we made a small parenthesis there until you. Oh yeah, no worries, man. It's all good. I mean, hey, I you know the the uh, dick pic uh, NFTs are always fun to chat about. You know, the crypto dick butts are one of the most successful meme uh, you know projects out there, and they're just dick butts. But I think that they're absolutely beautiful. Yeah, for sure. I'm a holder <laughs> also forever, man. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll just quickly finish that, uh, like announcement. So, um, Mm -hmm. the, the first person essentially to sell and the first person to buy is going to get 10 forever punks passes that, you know, again, gives them a say in, or like, you know, an equity stake essentially from a, um, a purely governance perspective as to where that site goes and how that evolves, which is kind of cool. And that's been, uh, you know, I've, I've seen a lot of, um, you know, OG, uh, like slash sort of whales buying those things. So like, you know, there's a lot of believers in, uh, forever punks. Um, and then 1 million SIG to each, uh, of, of, of the first seller and buyer. And then those numbers scale down accordingly for the first 50. So it's pretty significant, especially for the first call it like 10, 20, buyers and sellers in terms of the extra bonuses associated with uh, transacting punks on the Forever Punks website starting on April 19th. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, you know, it's you know, sort of fun to announce that on this. And, you know, obviously there's going to be a lot of, uh, you know, sort of um, uh, marketing around that and just kind of uh, further Twitter updates as, as uh, that, you know, date comes closer from Forever Punks and from SIG. So, um, and sort of beyond that is sort of phase two is we're considering how that can work long term, um, sort of like beyond the initial 50 buyers. Um, so there's ongoing like brainstorming going on about that um, with OX Tycoon as well as myself, as well as Forever Punks. Um, and anybody on this space with any recommendations, please reach out uh, to any of us in terms of how you think maybe that collaboration can work beyond those 50 buyers. Uh, but that's, uh, 10 million SIG total is being allocated to those 50 buyers on a sliding scale, as well as 200 total uh, Forever Punks passes. So, uh, you know, they're, they're um, real prizes in terms of value and so on. Um, and like it'll get you into the SIG uh, community. And in a way, for people who maybe missed out on that allocation, it gets them some SIG, you know. Um, and then, uh, you know, possibly some integration. Uh, so we're talking about long term, some integration with uh, punks on that uh, marketplace, having, you know, a symbol, for example, that shows if their cla- if, if their SIG has been claimed. Um, so that's kind of cool, right? Like just being able to see on the site as you're perusing the site, having like a little, you know, SIG symbol on top of, you know, each punk or whatever up in the right hand corner or something like that, that would, you know, indicate whether or not that punk has had their SIG claim. So uh, there's a few things that you know we're talking about but definitely uh you know they, that's very cool yeah, man. Yeah. that's very cool yeah no it's cool like like i i hope it uh you know kind of gets sick out out in in you know the the, the uh, space again in terms of you know people talking about it and so on and a ceo that's that's all i can do for now but i think that's uh you know a good start and i you know i i uh do want to shout out to uh, forever punks for uh uh you know kind of working with us on that and uh, you know he's a great guy so we're looking forward to that uh you know, um, to, to seeing sort of where that goes. So, uh, yeah, man. Yeah. We also had him on the show like, um, a week ago, uh, for the second time, uh, just before the launch, uh, just to, just to inform people of, uh, what's happening awesome. and what's going to come. So yeah, if anyone wants more information about forever punks marketplace, just, uh, check out their Twitter. And also, sure. uh, we have the, 
interview up on our YouTube. Um, Fred, I want to ask you this before I have a heart attack. So right before the show, I popped into my wallet just to have a look at uh, the beautiful fuck avatar that I bought off the secondary market. Someone paper handed um, the uh, hand drawn fuck avatar number four. Uh, which is a beautiful blonde uh, avatar that kind of reminds me of my daughter. And I thought it'd be a cool thing to pass on to her. Long story short, I popped in to my wallet and it's fucking gone. And I went and found it on, on, on open sea. Um, and it's currently owned by the Lipsidia resource field. Yeah. So please tell me. This yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything is lost, man. No, I'm joking. joking, joking. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, no, no. So yeah, so the the staking mechanism that we built is uh, is art staking at the moment. So you just need to go on Lucidia that dot X Y Z, and you can just unstake them. Uh, we're building a uh, self staking right now for the next era. Oh yeah, uh, which, I which is it. Gonna make... That's it, man. I, see, yeah, I'm a yeah. stoner. I totally <laughs> forgot I staked the fucking thing. That's what I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's safe. It's safe. <laughs> Oh, okay, cool. As long as it's in, in our collective hands, I'm good. I had a heart attack, man. I'm like, where where the hell did that go? And I was so sad. I'm like, I got I got I got conned by someone five months ago and I didn't even know. Anyways, that's great to hear. Thank you. Um well, no, no, it's hey, uh <clears throat> one project that I wanna ask you about, maybe like you can tell us about, and I, you know, I'm not sure if Red Lion had this on his list, but 90s kids club um i've seen it i've yeah. seen you like you know share about it and have passion for it can you tell us what that's about dude it's so sick like it, it's so it's so funny because like people don't understand like like i feel like i feel like every nft project now they they like they launch and they they most of the time like go so bad because like people jump from project to project but uh, but yeah, 90s kids is going to be so fucking sick. We're, we're building this new media for skaters. Um, <clears throat> so basically like, sk like skaters have a hard time to like get money and just like be paid. And then just like, just in general, it's a very, there's no way for a skater to make money other than wins any skate contest. Uh, and, and we saw like this opportunity where, uh, these kids have like, millions of followers on, on Instagram and TikTok and everything. And we decided to use that as a uh, leverage where we can like use social media to, to host like these skate events. Um, so basically what we're doing for now, we, we have a, a bunch of things on, on the pi in the pipeline, but right now what we're doing is we do monthly skate contests, uh, which only token holders are uh, allowed to vote, uh, which gets really interesting uh, creates a very cool dynamic of like people because like anybody that like, I mean, from, from like 20 to like 40, 50, uh, they all like everyone grabbed the skateboard when they were kids. Right. So even though if they don't skate, everybody likes to watch skateboarding once in a while and everything. So it was, it's a cool, like, uh, uh, collaboration between like people that like skateboarding and skateboarders and able to support like skaters um, and yeah, and we're launching a brand, uh, which is nineties. Uh, we're already, we signed with like five stores around the world right now to sell the clothing wow. and they're pretty big stores. So that's, that's pretty fucking sick. Uh, we're doing the first web three, uh, the skate magazine. So imagine like a web three trasher. Um, and we were working, I don't know if Sean is there. No, Sean's not there, but um, Sean is currently working with us uh, to build a skate team. And we have, I think we have like five, six skaters on the team right now, which um, are insanely good skaters. So, so yeah, we've been working really hard into building this uh, this thing, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's fun. And every month, almost every month, we have a burn mechanism uh, introducing new characters to the, to the ecosystem, which is interesting too. It's definitely pretty nostalgic. Like I, I, um, you know, was like I. So I'm I'm 83 born. Um, so like in the 90s, I like you know that was my skating decade because I was you know that 10, yeah. 12 years old where like you're flexible as hell and like you don't care about hurting yourself and that's when you learn to skate because that's when like you know you don't care to you know damage yourself and like it's hard to damage yourself. Um, so I mean yeah man I I like you know just see the images and stuff and like it definitely brings back a feeling of uh you know being a kid and so on um do you still skate i know you uh snowboard right yeah 
Yeah, I do. I still skate. I still snowboard. Uh, I, 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 so like a few years ago, like I exploded one of my kidneys, so I stopped skateboarding. Oh, shit. Uh, like I, I peed blood for like three months. It was a fucking nightmare. So I stopped skateboarding. Um, I used to be sponsored by Vans when I was a kid. Um, like I was, I was pretty into skateboarding. Oh, wow. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I stopped skateboarding and I, I picked it up uh, again few, like a few years ago. Um, but the reality is like I'm getting older and, sure. uh, and, and, and more busy. So I don't have, the, I see how the project time. is like dear to your heart though. If like you were like sponsored and yeah. it was a big part of your life, obviously as a younger man. Oh yeah. Um, cool, man. I mean, and like, you know, uh, skaters get a bum rap. Like there's always like, you go to like any, any just normal shopping plaza and like the private owners of the plaza have gone out of their way to like make these fabricated metal signs that are just like you know plastered all yeah. over the place like no skateboarding like specifically no skateboarding um and it's like i've always wondered like why because like you know skaters are never really causing problems they're only hurting themselves and then it's like who can yeah exactly i think it's an insurance thing but yeah yeah um so, but but yeah we're 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 gonna host like like physical skate events and work like the our goal is to create like the weirdest fucking rails the weirdest like obstacles for people to skate like we're trying to like redefine like what skateboarding is in terms of like it's 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 not just like being the best skater in the place it's just like having the most fun and do like weird shit you know man the the space i guess like specifically in vancouver uh is very lucky to have you as an advocate because you you know are a truly passionate guy but also have the you know resources and so on to like try and probably be able to make a difference in terms of like funding and projects and stuff like that which is super cool man so you know good for you for uh for trying to you know help a local um and like you know sort of real life cause which is you know the fact that skaters are obviously like that kind of on the fringe and you know challenge to make money and live in our society and then again they're like you know pushed away by so many different segments i feel so anyways it's always a bum rap <laughs> yeah it's it's gonna be a fun one for sure i'm very excited cool cool uh so what's on the front for this for uh like live city yeah so you guys are revamping the staking you said or is that ongoing uh yeah we're revamping pretty much everything uh like since the market crash we hired like 40 new people uh and we just kept building this uh, unreal experience you said 40 people for uh, 40 <clears throat> yeah yeah wow. we're, we're like i think we're at 55 people working for lucidia almost full time oh my god uh yeah so we're we're building like this crazy mechanism like staking mechanism um we really wanted to like find a way to like how can we use like blockchain and, and, and smart contract as a canvas for art instead of just like DeFi shit, you know? So basically right now, like you can, I mean, not right now because we just finished the era, but you could like stake like crystals or avatar like you did and you could like craft artwork that I, that I created, but you could craft these artwork, you know? So building this whole ecosystem around like these new mechanism and new canvas for artists um, and we're building this uh, immersive marketplace as well, which is uh, all in Unreal Engine 5, um, collaborating with some of the craziest artists uh, in our space um, to launch. I think we're launching in June or something. So, Man, I'm super excited. So, yeah. um, I, I was pretty vocal in terms <laughs> of advocating for the floor of your fuck avatars because I still to this day think they're the like, you know, of of all history, uh, like no joke, some of the most um, like honestly beautiful pieces of art that I've seen, uh, you know, created in a digital form. So I think, uh, I mean, I've never sold any of mine. I apparently have staked them all, which <laughs> uh, <laughs> I forgot about. Which is what you You should forget about them, I guess. That's why you stake and, and you know some respect. Um, yeah, yeah, we're do, we're doing self staking now. It's gonna be uh, less less art attack. Yeah, yeah, sure. cool. So there's still uh, my I, wall. I get anxiety sometimes that I have something staked forever and I forgot about it. I'm sure it happens all the time. Oh, for sure, for sure. Uh, uh, um, any plans to integrate any Sig into fuck uh, avatars or um, any other 
I mean, I don't see, I don't see why not. Uh, I think, mm-hmm. I think eventually, like the goal with with Lucidia is like inter probability. Uh, we we want to host more than just like uh, the avatars and 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 like eat and different tokens. That's for sure. Um, but yeah, like I'm, I'm always open to discussion. That's for sure. Yeah, and it's not a bad idea. I mean, something definitely we can talk about down the road. Uh, you know, something I hadn't thought about, but definitely if there's a viable integration or collaboration that makes sense for both, that would be cool, man. I mean, you know, who knows what what uh, you know sort of directions Sig will go in, and obviously, uh, you know, Fred's got a lot of ideas and stuff for his own projects. So we'll see if they can, you know, sort of collide at some point. Yeah, if it uh, if it works. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool. Um, anything else on your list you want for uh, Fred here, Red Lion Eye? Uh, yeah. Uh, are you coming to NFT NYC? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure which date exactly. I I, I won't stay there for long. I think. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm I I've been pretty busy and I, I'm a little bit sick, so I'm 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 gonna. Like you can hear my voice is like is, mm-hmm. is not not doing pretty good, but um, so yeah, I'm gonna recover and go probably. Um, but yeah, I will send you an invite if you if you are there during our uh, event. Yeah, uh, it's yeah, gonna yeah, be yeah. Cool if you can join. Yeah, no, that's for sure. Yeah, and uh, keep me posted if you do happen to be there on the 13th, Fred, for the Punks brunch. Because again, we got that wake and bake going on at 11. If you want to join us, it sounds- oh, that's gonna be so cool, man. You man. know what's crazy yeah, yeah. is like the the Punks, so like the wake and bake Telegram channel that that you know is going on right now with about 25 members. There's uh like yeah. three or four guys that are each bringing it sounds like 20 pre-rolled joints and blunts. So we're going to have like 90 joints to smoke in an hour. Um, you know, there's going to be a lot of hungry punks pouring in the door <laughs> to that brunch. Uh, but no, it's it so fun. Uh, the Wake and Bake and the Punks Under the Bridge are the two events that I'm definitely going. I still haven't signed up for Punk Brunch because they have... Um, I need to get into my cold wallet, and that's a problem, man. Yeah, I know it's it's uh, token gated or whatever, right? Mm. Yeah, I mean, I I see the merit in it, and it's not it's not perfected yet. I will say, um, what you can do, and I hooked up my like deep vault, I call it, which is like my cold cold wallet, um, and I I hooked that up um, to the token gate site. Um, and then I went right in to, um, uh, you know, take away that permission. Yeah, but I'm not signing anything with that I know, wallet. It doesn't I know. matter what it is. I know. It's just like no signatures are going out of there. I just really want to have brunch, man. <laughs> I just really want to have yeah, brunch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I, I, I was thinking maybe I could be somebody's plus one and... I don't know. Yeah, you know I what? Actually, figure, I, I could have, have brought you it out. if I known. Um, maybe I can add one now type thing. Why don't we talk offline? Because obviously you got to get in there. Yeah. Uh, but I wonder how other people are doing it because I'm sure other people have the same exact concerns. So uh, maybe just ask too on uh, the Telegram channel. What I mean, I asked them and they are right. They're like, I mean, there's a lot of uh, admin work to do, they say, and you have to do it like that. So many people did it like that. But I don't want to do it yeah, like no, that I, I, because I, I, I don't. I don't and uh, it's also a Yuga event, so I, there's like 10 more reasons I don't want to do yeah, that. Yeah, no, I, I don't blame you. Obviously, we'll get you in there one way or another, man. Uh, but I do look forward to meeting you at uh, the Wake and Bake. Uh, hopefully, Fred, we can. Uh, oh, it's gonna be so uh, cool! Be I'm so excited, <laughs> man! I'm so excited! <laughs> so great. excited! Uh, Fred, uh, hopefully, you know, if you do make it out and you feel better and you have the time and you can squeeze down to New York, I know it's a lot further from Vancouver for you than it is from me from Toronto. But if you do make it out, man, <laughs> um, I look forward to uh, hanging with you, having some brunch if you make it there, and so on. Um, yeah. Uh, anybody else? Like, you know, I'm not sure. Like, if you ever put out sort of questions to sort of the listeners at all, Red Lion and I, or 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 if you shut it down. Yeah, we have Mallet uh, coming up. Um, how's it going, my dude? Hey guys, how are you? Good, good. What's up, how, how come? How come you guys are not going to the punk brunch? Come on, si- sign it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the it's the sign in process that is a little uh, um, weird. Um, 
But it, you have to sign in from the. You have to like sign with the wallet you own the banks. Yeah. And uh, I have them in cold storage, and I'm not. I don't want to sign anything. What did you do, wallet? wallet? You know. Um. Well, actually, I'm I'm at my home now, so I I'm not going to bring my cold wallet to to the US. That's for sure. Um, so I think I usually trust like like uh, token proof and these kind of this kind of stuff. But um, I have to be honest; I don't even know how I signed that one. But when I'm home, I have my I have my ledger to be honest. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to bring it with me. But I, I think I think there's there's workarounds, no? Oh well, I asked them on the punk. Though I mean, like, if I show up there and like twenty punks say I am Red Lion I and I have sixty nine dollars, <laughs> I don't see what's the problem. <laughs> yeah, <it's> <laughs> <not>. <laughs> no one's gonna deny you bacon and eggs, brother. <laughs> but what if you don't have sixty nine dollars though? <laughs> Then I'm not Red Lion Nine. I don't know. <laughs> but that's that's kind of true. No, you you can just you can if, if they really don't trust you, you really don't want to sign like up with your ledger. They can I don't know ask you to do a tweet with uh, code uh, XXX whatever, and then they know it's you. No? Yeah. So that, that that's kind of true. Yeah. So that, that, yeah. Also, I can show that I am on the Discord of uh, Punks, mm -hmm. the Punks Lounge. That's also a great way to to validate like someone is not there if they don't have a punk. Sure, that's also good. Sure. But you guys have to come over. Don't, 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 don't be suppressed by this, this, this whole yoga <laughs> stuff. And come on, it's going to be fun. I, I, th I, th yeah, I, I think, yeah, yeah. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. The cognitive dissonance is strong, and I'm trying to be as open as I can, you know. But it's hard sometimes when, uh, when these things are being shoved on your throat, and you're, ah, uh, anyways. Don't make it too difficult for yourself. Uh, it's it's going to be fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. I, I know. I'm I'm putting mental barriers myself. <laughs> I know. Last year was so much fun. I mean, and it's still still going to be this. There's so many people flying over from all over the world. That's uh, yeah. It's it's it's. I think it's going to be fun. Yeah. Fuck. Now I need to do it. I need to do it. But I will. I will chat with the guys. I will see if they if they are happy with uh, something else. That'll work. That'll work. Fantastic. I saw you also signed up for our event. I'm so excited, man. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It's going to be so cool. Yeah, it's going to be. There's so much going on. I have to be honest. I mean, today I really had to take like a half a day to um, uh, to spend on like organizing everything. I, I did it the old school way. I just copy pasted like Google Maps uh, places. Uh, locations. <laughs> I, I, this is the first first That's time. That's the way to do it sometimes, man. I, yeah, I, I, I found all the dispensaries in my area, to be honest. Yeah. Well, it's good. I mean, it's, it's, yeah, it's going to South Manhattan. Everything is pretty close by. I'm just probably going to take like an old, old school city bike and drive all over the place and like be everywhere. Now it's, it's going to be fun. Exactly. And um, hey, Marcella, I wanted to also um, talk to you about the, the wall of uh, Masna. Uh, maybe we can put SIG up there or uh, some CEOs or something. For the wall of what? Uh, you know, uh, Masna as an artist has this project yes, with yes. Um, so, the Brooklyn dude, Wall. It's funny how you're saying that. I'm literally talking to him right now, and he actually is saying he might have mm -hmm. space to put up another punk. And I said, "Can you do like a sort of a sig, uh, you know, punk, and maybe put like you know my hoodie up if that's cool or whatever?" He's like, he, "He's like, I, I I might actually have time and and space. I'll get back to you." So he might actually get some sig up there like this week yeah 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 uh i'll talk to him let's uh get you some priority on the line <laughs> let's uh you know him, man, push it a means, little bit like, harder you know, yeah uh, we are throwing the event together uh, but he's really busy so it's not like a matter of priority it's like uh how much um, bandwidth there is until they... I don't care if it's my know, punk, man, time. and like if it's your punk, mm -hmm. then even better. So have them put your punk and the SIG mark or whatever. Oh, no, we are. Uh, we bought the biggest space on the wall. We are putting our lions up there. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, That's cool, man. Dudley and I, yeah. That's cool. Dudley and I are going to be up there on the wall. But I also want to put my punk. I was thinking uh, to suggest it on that, like, we somehow crowdfund. We put the first 10 CEOs up there or the, we buy space for the first 25. And, uh, yeah, it's also another incentive to, to have That's CEOs. That's a good idea, man. See, those are, you know, the think outside of the box, uh, you know, 
examples that can hopefully add some, uh, you know, utility to SIG, the CEO, the token, the you know, the overall project? Well, I, I, I suggested it to uh, Tycoon, and he was not uh, so open about it, uh, but um, he likes street art. He was just like... Uh, he doesn't have the bandwidth to 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 deal with this. I think it should have I should have brought it to your attention. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, don't forget he works for me, right? <laughs> yeah. Just, uh, no, he. I just think novel king, ideas man, like king. that. Yeah, novel ideas like that bring bring the brand of Stig uh, higher. You know, I mean, like. How can we compete with like I don't know uh, all these uh, DeFi protocols and and all these like uh, DeFi NFT projects? But like if it does like smart uh, things like the marketplace with Forever Punks have like some kind of IRL novelty, um, I think uh, there is this is a nice evolution in my opinion. I I do agree with you. Makes sense. Why don't we talk offline about that, about the, you know, the walls and so on and see what can be done, uh, you know, short term yeah. and long term. And uh, yeah, sounds good, man. Fantastic. Um, all right. Uh, I don't know if you guys have uh, any questions down from the audience. I see all of you. Thanks for coming in. So many uh, new and familiar faces. Uh, if you guys have any questions or you would like to, to join the chat, just um, yeah, request to, to come up and we'll pass on the mic to you. Thanks so much. I appreciate uh, you know your time, Red Lion Eye, as well as uh, Fred uh, Fuckrender. Uh, super amazing guy, great Canadian friend, uh, awesome artist. I I'm very lucky to have two one of ones of his that are buried in my deep vault that also did not disappear. Thank God, or I, I actually would have had. <laughs> I love back. Canadians, man. I fucking love Canadians, and Canadians are doing so good in the NFT space. Some of the Top crypto artists are Canadians. Man, there's, you know, I. Uh, you have a little ghetto, a little Canadian art cartel. That's going. it, man. Uh, you know, very proud uh, Canadian here. I, you know, I know Fred's also proudly Canadian. So, you know, we're definitely proud to represent the country. But, uh, you know, also, oh, yeah. also, uh, you know, the, the space is cool because you end up with friends all over the world, right? And that's what it's all about. So. Yeah, thank you so much, guys, for having me. Thank you for the kind word, Marcella. All right, buddy. Talk soon, guys. <laughs> Have a great weekend. Yeah. Happy Bye Easter guys. to those that are celebrating. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. All right. Take care. Okay. Uh, we don't have any hands. Uh, okay. They <laughs> they left. Uh, I guess that's it. Uh, if somebody wants to come up and chat, um, the CEO and the guest left. But uh, um, if you guys want to uh, have any questions or you want to chat, I'm here. <laughs> I know David wants to come up, but he cannot. I see him smiling. <laughs> um all right i guess that's it uh we are going to put some some streams up uh during the weekend let me see if i can get him up all right there he is let me see if i can get him up hey there he is <laughs> yeah 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 we can hear you now man. fuck me man you know <laughs> oh my god what happened did elon musk fix uh, twitter or some shit jesus christ like i i, I don't know i don't know i can talk how again. are you man i can talk again yes. yeah i've had too much yes. tequila relax you should finish the show and not talk to me that's advice <laughs> yeah <laughs> are we streaming this weekend how are you yeah doing? we're going to stream well i'm still here until fucking monday right and then mm. yeah but anytime you want you know i'm on yeah, you know I love you. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> well, I look at all, all these right, people in here. Yeah. You can cancel this at any time. I'll never shut up until you tell me to shut up. Sheena's in here. Rose is in here. Lauren. God save the goat. I'm so happy I'm going to meet so many regulars in New York. <laughs> oh, I'm excited and pissed off at the same time, right? Why the fuck are you not coming? Yeah, well, yeah, because you haven't... Uh, paid for a plane to pick me up, yeah, or a helicopter or some shit. I offered it, but you said you want to go to that shitty festival. <laughs> <you're> like, 
<laughs> well, I love you, man. Absolutely, I love you too. To, to be honest, I checked it. I checked it, and it was three K, man. And I was like, "Fuck, man!" I can't. Yeah, you shit three K. Three K. It was too much, man. Fuck. Uh, man. You wake up. If and... it was like around one K, I was. I would say, okay, I'll bring Darwin over. Oh man, you're one K. That's what I'm worth to you. I get it. You wake up and you shit three K. <laughs> I'm seeing your wallet. You fuck. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love you, man. I love you. All right, don't let me don't let me annoy everybody. Yeah, and and one K was a bit too excessive, but okay, okay. I get it. I just exaggerated because I had to say it live on the air. Well, know. let's be honest. Nobody. <laughs> I was embarrassed to say if it was around three hundred. <laughs> Okay, yeah, let's be honest, nobody wants me there, yeah? Yeah, I get it. Eh? <laughs> no, we really want you, man. I, I'm so bummed. I was hoping you would come, you know. No, but, I'm, uh, I'm but you will come to Lisbon. Well, I'm first to Lisbon, it's only a 45-hour flight for you. My sister, so you can... she's a lesbian, yeah? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I, I don't uh, know what I'm saying. Look, I gotta go. I love you all. <laughs> all right, man. Bye, man. Big love and respect. Yeah, cute, cute, cute. take care to all take of you. Care. Yes. Uh, thanks everyone for listening. Um, as you uh, hear, I hope we can put uh, two streams during the weekend. Uh, we are doing wallet review and uh, our 1 to 100 ETH challenge, non-financial advice. Uh, and then on Tuesday, we will meet you all in New York. We are super excited. The Gazette right now has broken every record already. 86 mints. Uh, Reader 1 is uh, incredibly talented and... Uh, you only have like how many uh two more days to mint it the new gazette that is coming out it's going to be the first of its kind it's going to be so so cool uh we will have it with us traveling with it but more details coming up during the weekend um thank you everyone for listening big love take good care bye bye guys <laughs>